How we doing folks? Hope you're all fit and well. Welcome back to another YouTube movie. Right. We are ascending into the gods to the little our little studio. So right, why are we up here, you might ask? Well I've just had a notification on the on my real link on the app. So we've got a, a buzzard down at the moment. I like to come up here and just have a have a watch out the window. Spin you around, there we go. <laughs> right, let's zoom in. We can only zoom in twice, so the buzzard setup's just up there. You might even be able to pick it up, but what I'm interested in is this little hedgerow here. Now as I was watching, I could see a pair of bullfinches. Bullfinches are absolutely fantastic. What a lovely bird. And they haven't photographed them much. So I've got a plan, I've got a cunning plan. Now that front garden bit, we left that, we left it wild for a reason. For this, this very reason. It's there's loads of stuff, there's loads of brambles in there and berries and you know, there's teasels and, and wildflower seed heads. I've seen the goldfinches on there. So, the plan is... There again, the bullfinches are back. Fantastic. The males are just stunning. So that garden, that front garden bit, it's on a, it's on a slope, funnily enough. Like, everywhere, <laughs> like every other part of this property, it's on a slope. So we need to overcome that. So what we're going to do, the plan is... We're going to put the hide up there. We're going to put, I'm going to use the V7. So we're going to have a look at the V7. I've been meaning to do a review on the V7 for yonks. And I've had it, it's been up on the meadow um, for probably oh, thick end of eight months. It's just been sat up there. And I've not, uh, I've just not shifted it basically. So I've took it down now. I've packed it away, got it all cleaned and that. So we'll, we'll have a look at that. And then we're going to have to construct a platform. So we're gonna we've got some telegraph poles left over from when we when we built the hide. We're gonna put some telegraph poles in. I've also got a staging that I brought with me from from Lanks when we moved. <laughs> My missus thought I were mental bringing that, but it's gonna come in handy because it's a perfect size for the V7. I used it actually when I did the um, the barn owl film probably a couple of years ago now, so I know it's a perfect size. So we're gonna go down there get a few materials together, get the spade, dig some holes, make a platform. I said, we'll have a look at that V7 and we'll get that eye set up. And I've got a very, very special piece of glass to show you. You'll be, oh, I'm so excited. I'm dying to use this. So let's get cracking. Right, first job, I'm going to show you where we're, where we're actually going to put this hide up. So, follow me. So this is the, this is the, the hedgerow that I, I mentioned about that I could see from the, the velox, and we've just left it completely wild. So. We've actually sown some teasels in there, so they've not come up yet, but there's, a, there's just an abundance of, of foliage and places for the, the birds to go in and, and hide and scurry about and forage for stuff. So coming up here, that's the feeder that I've, I've put up. I've had that up for a while. It's just got black sunflowers in and some finch seed. And this is where this is where I've been seeing the bullfinches. So it's just, it's a fantastic place. It's busy, but I love that look. It's a, a proper natural hedgerow with loads of, 
loads of texture and some fantastic backgrounds but as I said we're on this slope and I could put a I don't know if I go up to the top here it's it's reasonably I could chuck a little hide in there but I'm looking down the hedge and the birds if, they, if they're just slightly into the hedge I feel that they'll they'll be obscured so I'll, I'll get less chances to photograph them so ideally this this is the spot where I want to be again you can probably see we're on a slope so all I'm going to do I'm going to get the platform I want the platform probably probably about this height and then we're going to sit the the v7 on top of that so two telegraph poles there two in there get it nice and level we might have to make some form of i'll just i'll just put a, a box to or a, a little i have a little step ladder actually i can use to get up into the hide but then i've got a nice aspect i'm probably i don't know i might just angle it 90 degrees to the hedge so i've got i've got a better range of uh a view if you if you know what i mean so yeah that's the that's the plan and then we're going to show you that piece of glass but we've got some graph to do first so let's go and get that big platform four telegraph poles we might have to get the chainsaw out let's get stuck in ah, there it is right that's what we want that's what I was talking about. So that's the piece that I used when I photographed the, the barn owls. I knew it was worth bringing. So we're gonna, all the way from Lancashire. Never chuck anything away. <laughs> so that, that fits the V7 on, well, it fits the V6. The V6 is the same size as the V7. So let's get that up there. put my woolly hat on <laughs> right what I'll do now before before we put that up I'll go and get the hide and decide which way we're gonna shoot from it right Tragopan V7, this is a one door. So we do a, a one door and a three door version. This is a single door. We'll quickly have a look at it. It's not a full review of this by any stretch, but I will do one. It's on the list. So it's a shorter bag this than the V6 because the legs are, the bottom part of the legs are telescopic. So ideal for putting on a on a slope so i think when we put it up as well we'll put it up with the rain cover because i'm i'm hoping to leave this up for a little while so at the moment the weather's dry it's good weather at the moment but we certainly can't guarantee that so as i was saying this has been up for when did i put it up i maybe put it up in february had it right up in the corner of the meadow, so I had it on the uh, on the on the buzzard setup, and it's it was as good as the the day when I put it up. The only thing was, I made a schoolboy error and I left this inside the hide, and the mice got in, <laughs> and they started. Well, look at that nightmare. So these are the screens that go up on, you know, on the inside of the hide, the, the mice got to them, which is no fault of the hides. So anyway, it's what it is. Can't be helped. So V7, there we go. Same quick, quick erect system. Look at that. Fantastic. Now you can see there how low it is. If you want to, you could use it like that. You know, you could, 
you could sit down and, and shoot in that. You know, it, it's short, but that's down to the, the legs because the, if you have a look in there, you can see same thermal lining and that bottom leg there, we've got a, if you come in a bit closer, you can see how the, the legs just telescope out. There we go. And then they click into place. So you could have the two, two front legs fully extended and the back legs shorter to suit the, uh, the slope of the ground. And there we go, all we do, we just pull that out and that clicks into place. And then this will make it the full height. There we go, click, job done. Flick it over. Like I said, this has been out for months and months and the colours exactly the same as, as when we put it out. So it isn't, I don't think it's square, is it square? No, it's slightly, slightly rectangular, but we can shoot out of any side. I think what we will do, we will probably put it that orientation. So we're gonna it only just fits on but we'll we'll make it fit it'll be right so we're gonna have it we'll shoot out that big window there straight onto that so we're going to turn that that decking around Got snagged up there Put that back down I think we'll put it like that. We'll be on the hide, looking straight towards that nice little clump of berries. There we're looking go. straight, straight in there, hoping that them bullfinches come anywhere along here. I know they've been up, up in that, on that little budlier, so we'll, we'll be able to get them from there as well. Right, that's the plan. Uh, going back to the, the V7, as we said before, things have slightly changed. Well, Traeger Pan, what they do, every model that comes out, we always improve on the last one, which is a good thing, you know, don't sit on your laurels, try and improve it, make it a better product. So the screens on the inside, it's probably better showing you, showing you here. We'll grab one of these. So on the last one on the V6, they had quite a small clip. They still work fine, but on these ones, we have those clips, which are a lot better, especially if you've got a gloved hand and they just clip onto the legs like so. Like I said, this is the, uh, the single door version. The three door one, obviously, it's got three doors. So that's the, that's the single door. You can unzip that. You can actually take the door out and we can add a, an awning. We can also add a, an extra room as well. So I've used these on over, overnighters where I've actually camped in it and it's got the built-in ground sheet. So you, you know, you're not getting muddy if you're on a, a wet surface. Keeps all your gear nice and dry. So you just zip that back in and again on this one the openings are a lot larger which is better you know you get that better peripheral vision so be mindful if you do order a v7 okay the the roof canopy which is the bit that keeps it gives it a lot more weather weather resistance fully this is fully weatherproof but the roof canopy has the poles that go around and it gives it that extra protection makes it absolutely absolutely bombers but that is, that's a, an extra, so you buy that extra as, it, as you do with the awning and the, the extra room. So the basic V7 comes with this and your, your little cap that goes on the top. But if you're not expecting any, any skanky weather, you know, you probably don't need to put that on. But if you're leaving it out for prolonged periods or you're expecting to, you know, have some, some bad weather, I would definitely suggest getting the, uh, the rain top for it 
because it, it affords a bit more protection for your, your camera gear as well. You know, it comes, it comes out and uh, yeah. Right, that's the, that's the V7. You'll, you'll see it when we go inside it a bit more and we, we can have another chat about it. But time to get digging. So we better get this jumper off because I think it's going to get warm. We need four holes in there. We need four telegraph poles. I've got two lengths of four before. If I put that on there, I don't think it's, it's not strong enough. I'm not a fat lad, but there's going to be too much spring in it. I don't want that movement. I don't want any, any movement in the, uh, in the tripod and the lens, obviously, because we're going to be, we're going to be using quite a long lens. It doesn't, the distance doesn't warrant using this long lens, but I'm hoping to get some nice close in portraits of these, these bullfinches all being well. So we're going to put the, we're going to put the four telegraph poles in, get them perfectly level, two lengths of four before, get them bolted on and then sit this on and it's going to be rock solid that. Right, get this jumper off. Back at work, this doing a bit of shoring. Shoring the old collapse build. I used to love shoring. <laughs> now, is that within LD? <laughs> Private job. There we go. Two hours maximum, and we've got we've got the hide up on a nice little platform level. Give us a little bit of extra height to get those shots, hopefully. So I'm going to I'm going to clean up now. I'm going to leave this for a couple of days. Just let it let the birds become accustomed to it, and we'll get that new piece of glass out. Let you have a look at that, and we'll see if we can get some pictures of these bullfinches. Now 
we doing folks? Right, we've had the, the hides been up two days now. So to be honest, the birds they were they were used to it straight away, never never phased them. They were coming in straight away, so I could have done this a bit earlier but I just left it for a couple of days. So as promised, I wanted to show you this absolute weapon. <laughs> Look at that. So Nikon had kindly lent me the 600 f4 with the built-in teleconverter and to be honest this is um well we're going to get some nice tight portraits let's give it out because we're pretty close to be honest but it's, i've used it a, a couple of times i couldn't wait to get out with it and uh, so this is this is the first proper session i've had with it but uh Oh, it's what a lens, what an absolute beast of a lens it is. Absolutely amazing. And optically, it's just crystal clear, quiet, quick, relative. I mean, look at the size of it. But even though it's on the Z9, you know, it's relatively, relatively light compared to my 500 F4 that I've got. So we're going to bob it on here. I'll tell you what we'll show you beforehand, before we get on there. Take you. Well, this is our setup that we've got on the video head. Obviously, we, you know, such a big lens, we're hoping to get a little bit of video footage as well. But I've got my little um, cam shield, my new cam shield gizmos set up. So we've got the the magic arm, my little plate there for all the essentials. Obviously, got my brew there. I must admit, when when you know we we got these supplied and they were sent out i thought i don't think i'm going to use that but i've used it a couple of times and it's brilliant i can i tell you what i do i use my uh, merlin app quite a lot when i'm out in the field and you know just just sat here and i never know where to put it i mean i'm on a i'm on a stable base at the moment so i could put it on the floor but i like it to be at the level where i'm you know whether i'm looking and facing so i can just sit me Sit my phone on there with the Merlin app running. I've got me, got me refreshments, got me brew. It's great. It's a proper nifty little bit of kit, and it's on that magic arm. I can literally move it any orientation, any angle. Superb. And I've got on this this swivel base. I've got all these different all, so I can attach my camera. I've got this one on here. That's that's on there. That's me me vlogging cameras going on there, but. Brilliant, really well made as well, top quality. I've been using them a lot with the camera trapping setup, you know, really versatile for angling your, your flash boxes and everything. And also when I've been photographing the owls at night, again, just dead versatile. The, the flash boxes are on and you can, you know, you can alter them to any angle you want. So yeah, check them out. They're on the on the Trigger Pan shop. I'll put the link on the bottom, but uh, yeah, yeah, quality bit of kit, nice.
got the bullfinch in, female bullfinch, was just just up to the right, really, really coy though. Won't uh, won't go anywhere near the feeders, just feeding on the on the seed heads on the on the docks. Got a little bit of video footage, but no stills. Again, it's that you're torn between getting getting a nice still image, but obviously, you know, we need the the video for you lot. up on the feeder now. I'm hoping that it goes down onto the onto the cedars. I, I can't photograph it on that feeder. There we go, there we go. This lens is so good. Just the ability to drop that TC in just amazing really. I'm spoiled now aren't I? It's a nightmare. I've got to go back. I've enjoyed that. Nice, uh, nice couple of hours. Nice bit of sun on the on the hedgerow as well. So I've just while I've been sat here, I've just had a notification. I've just had an email saying that me me one eighty to six hundred is being delivered today. <laughs> and ordinarily, that would be, I'd be like a, I don't know, I'd like, be like a kid at Christmas waiting for the, the new toy. But I'm not even opening it. I'm not even going to open the box until I send this 600 back because this is it's ridiculous it's so good so if I if I open the 186 to 600 I'll end up putting that on and I won't get the maximum use out of this so we're going to leave that boxed up we're going to get as many many trips out with this before I have to send it back but wow what a piece of glass phenomenal I know it's eye-wateringly expensive and I will probably never own one never, never say never but um, yeah fantastic we've had the bullfinch in a couple of times tantalizingly close the male was was just i got a, a rubbish bit of footage but it's it's early days with this it's a, this is going to be a, an ongoing project but it's fantastic just having that bit of a wild hedgerow i mean anyone could you know if you've got a garden no matter how big just you know don't be well i'm saying that it's it's easy to say in it but um yeah, if you can do, you know, let it go, let it go wild a bit, and encourage a bit of bit of wildlife. The the birds really appreciate it, you know, especially if you've got things like wildflowers and, you know, the uh, docks and what have you. And if you leave them, leave them over winter, you know, rather than chopping them down, and it gives the birds, you know, loads of cover to to pick about, and and you know, you get some really nice photo opportunities. We've had a, we've had a few nice shots, you know, today we've had. We had some nice ones of the Dunnocks and um, that brambling was fantastic. So, yeah, there's all sorts popping in. And as the as the cold weather comes in, you know, the the harsher it gets, I'm hoping that it brings more birds in. You know, they're, they're always glad of the feed that you put out for them. So, so that's it for this one, really. Not... Uh, no great pearls of wisdom again, but you know we uh, we overcame the the slope, the ongoing slopes that we have around here by putting this little platform up. Give us a nice stable platform to work off. Got the little V7, you know, banged up. So we're going to leave this up for a, a good while. This will, like I said, over winter. This will be a great project. This this photography on on this wild hedge. So again, those of you that have bought a coffee, I'll put your names up now. Absolute legends. Thanks very much really really appreciated any of the things that you've seen on the on the channel you can you can get them on the on the tragapan website i'll put that link on the it's in the description as well but i'll put it on the page and and that's about it so i need to think now where am i going next with this i reckon i'm going up that big hill looking for them them kites and buzzards and field furs and red wings and yeah brilliant right thanks very much for watching if you haven't done give us a thumbs up give us a like it helps the channel massively if you haven't subscribed we want to get to 20,000 by Christmas and that will be absolutely epic so we're, we're over 19,000 now so if you can do don't cost anything just you know press the subscribe button and tickle that little bell icon every time I put a film out you'll get a notification we're trying to get a one out a week now 
So Friday's Friday's the day for it. So Friday around about six or seven o'clock, a new film will be coming out. All right. So thanks very much again, and we'll see you on the next one.